Hello and welcome to Out of Spec Motoring. Today we are doing a 70 mile per hour highway range test of the updated 2020 Bolt EV with six kilowatt hour and more. So it's a 66 kilowatt hour pack, 259 miles of EPA rated range. Obviously we're gonna get less than that just cruising at the highway, but by how much, I'm not sure. Let me tell you how the test is gonna go and we'll see what we can squeeze out of this Bolt. So you can see here, I have the Bolt EV and the new Kona Electric. Not much has changed for the Kona, but a new infotainment. We'll also do a range test on that soon. So keep an eye out for future videos. And we have tons of good stuff coming out between uh, these two cars on out of spec motoring and inside EVs. So let's talk about the Bolt. Uh, that is our subject of the test today. Uh, this morning, I left it here overnight at the studio to full charge on one of our NEMA 1450 outlets. Uh, so the car was at 100%. I went and shot a one lap uh, video with it, which is my new series of one lap of the track and tons of different cars. So that heated up the battery, got everything going. I plugged it back in and now it just completed charging at 100%. So we're full and everything's warmed up, which is really good. Two good things you need for a range test. We also have great temperatures outside, low 70 degrees. We have one thing working against us today though, and it is slightly windy, not too bad, uh, but we have about five mile per hour winds. Now, the way that we're gonna compensate this is we're gonna be driving from here at the track down to Raleigh and back. So the round trip. So we will probably get worse efficiency there than we will on the way home because we'll have a headwind to start out. Now, not perfect conditions, but real world. And that's why you always see so many different journalists and people doing range tests. It's okay everyone will get a slightly different result, but we're gonna try and make it as good as we can. Uh, so let's jump in the bolt and we're gonna go one mile down to the highway, set the cruise control at a GPS rated 70 miles per hour. We'll see if this reads over or under and get going. We are now inside the updated bolt and I think it's really nice in here. It's got a lot of room. I wish it had a nice glass roof but you know, it's pretty good. The seats still are a weak point. I think Chevrolet said they updated them slightly for 2020. I don't really feel a difference. You go around a corner and you're flying around this thing, but that is not the point of today's video. Today's video is all about the range we can eke out of this car. So let's dive into the system and reset our trip computer. So you can see here, the screen has a lot of great info. On the left, we have our uh, predicted mileage. And then if I drive it slower or faster, up or down, uh, basically more or less efficient. Uh, it's pretty low right now because I've been driving it fairly hard, just around the track, the facility, we ripped it up and down the highway, but uh, I expect that number to be a lot higher than 177 miles. Uh, to reset the trip computer, I think I just push and hold this little check mark. Yep, there we go, and that will change. The uh, power consumption bar on the right will tell us instant power out and regen. You can see this little white bar means there's very little regen right now, which makes sense because the battery is fully charged. There's another thing I can reset in here, which is average speed. There we go. Tire pressures were all set at the factory 38 PSI this morning. Uh, and because I was driving it around, they've kind of all creeped up and down, but relatively in the same range. This will even out on the highway to probably 40 PSI on all four once they get a little bit of heat in them. So there you go. For climate control, I'm definitely gonna run it, but I'm going to run uh, one fan at 72, maybe two fans. Basically auto blasts the fan in this car. I don't know if you can hear it cranking up but we're just gonna set it one fan, 72 degrees. I'm gonna keep it on the trip computer and I'll reset it as soon as we back out of here. There's the studio, we backed out, press and hold, fully charged, everything's reset. I think we should be good to go. Let's see what we can get out of this thing. So as we're making our way over to the highway, I'm gonna comment again, the barber shops are still closed, so sorry. Uh, my hair is really bugging me being so long. The other thing is uh, about the range test today. We're gonna go from here in basically Garysburg, North Carolina, down to Raleigh. We're going to go from Raleigh back up to here, but I'm gonna pick up Alyssa. She won't really add much to the consumption. And we're gonna stop in Rocky Mount 
for a little bit to see our new house. And um, having the car sit, I tested this car's very little phantom drain, so it, I don't expect it to skew results much at all. And it's only gonna be for about 15 minutes at most, which is totally normal. I'm gonna make sure whenever we are stopped that I turn off all accessory power and nothing will skew the results much. So we should be okay. Off to the highway. I checked the GPS speed app and 70 is spot on at 70 miles per hour. Again, we have about a five mile per hour headwind on and off, mostly at the beginning of this drive. Not the best situation, um, but that's what we get for doing it today. And we're gonna go down to Raleigh and back up. Now, as we're sitting here on this range test, I wanted to point out this is just purely the 70 mile per hour cruising range. You can certainly do a lot better just driving at a lower speed, but this is a good highway range test. I also sometimes do a 56 mile per hour range test that's 90 kilometers per hour and that um, I just don't have the time to do it this week with this car but if I get the bolts again I definitely will I usually do those at night when there's less traffic on the highways and if you want to see a full review of the bolt it has a lot of cool technology stuff in this car like a camera for a rear view mirror really good infotainment system good sound system things like this um, definitely take a look at my full review on inside EVs because there are now some other cars in the same pricing category. This thing's like low $40,000 range. I have that Kona EV. They're like within a couple thousand dollars of each other. And I think the Kona might be a better buy. But at dealers, these are super discounted. You think there's like $8,000 right on the hood of these things. So, you know, maybe the Bolt's the best buy. I think... Uh, We'll see. I'm definitely excited to learn more about it in my two weeks with this car. This U-Haul is on fire. What the hell? Whoa. Guess the brakes got hot and it is burning down. That's crazy. Crazy. Whoa. Anyway, this is our exit. Well, I just arrived at home. We live right off the highway, pretty much did 70 the whole way here. And let's take a look at the stats so far. So we're just about halfway, I guess, a little bit more than half charged. We've done 3.3 uh, miles per kilowatt, which isn't <laughs> kilowatt, -er, kilowatt hour, which isn't the best. But again, we had that headwind. So now going back, we should see a little bit better efficiency. Are you waiting for your app to connect to your car to unlock it because you don't want to go inside? Yeah, the BMW Connected app takes forever. There we go, finally. <laughs> anyway, this thing is great. If you want to see other videos on the Polestar, check the link uh, right up here. This is my favorite car of the year. Anyway, doing the Bolt. Uh, so getting Alyssa, we're going to jump in. Uh, the car is completely off right now as to not lose anything. We'll get back on the road. The highway is right down there back to 70 miles per hour. So we'll see how it does. I expect a better return efficiency than on the way up, but take a look at this color. This is a great color on the Bolt. This spec in general, because the exterior is this really cool, like Nardo gray, battleship gray with the offset interior. I really, I really like it. Ready for the range test in the Bolt? Always. <laughs> what do you think? How many miles do you think we'll get out of it? What is it rated? 259 miles EPA rated range. Keep in mind we're on the highway cruising, so it'll be a little bit less. 235. You think 230? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, you're probably not far off. All right, good. I hope over 200. If we get less than 200, it would not be a great thing. But anything over 200 will be totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. We are almost to our exit and you can see our little trend line is leaning towards the max rather than what the current projected is. I'm going to have to slow down here because we're taking this exit. And um, yeah, we're definitely compensating for the headwind on the way down because we're up to 3.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Again, this is just a couple mile per hour headwind, so nothing major. 
and uh, Bolt's doing really well. The more I spend time in it, the more I really do enjoy this car. Although my back is starting to hurt a little bit from these seats, but it's not the end of the world. So we're over at our new house. The car is completely off. There's a restored uh, old mill here. It's called the Rocky Mount Mills. It's really cool. They have lofts inside. And then all these little homes that are like the size of a two bedroom apartment, but with a big backyard, which is perfect for us. Rocky Mount isn't really the safest town. It's a little sketchy, but for us, it's a great location to the track. This is our new home right here. And uh, that'll be a really nice spot. I guess there's a tree on the roof. We got to fix that. And we have a really huge backyard for the dogs, which is great. They have free Tesla destination chargers literally right there. So I don't even have to pay for electricity, although I will have charging at home uh, <laughs> because when it's raining, I don't want to walk in the rain. I'll just pay for the pay for the juice. That'll be fine. Uh, it's a nice small house, way smaller than what we have now, but it's just going to be me and Alyssa and the dogs. So all sounds pretty good, don't you think? All right, well, there you go. Welcome to the new out of spec motoring home. And it means more things can be done at the track where they should be in the studio. So I don't have to work from home as much. We are going to continue this range test. It's nice. All of our stops have been right off the highway and we pop right back on. Uh, this was the last one though. The next time we stop is when this thing runs out of battery. And uh, you ready for that? No, I've already experienced that. Oh yeah, she ran out of electricity and get her i3 range extender a couple weeks ago. You have anything to say about that? I was in the middle of North Carolina and the only gas station that was there are the little old timey ones with the little boxes and didn't have the right gas. You're right, they didn't have premium fuel. She didn't realize that in a pinch she could have put some regular in and then you ran out. But since then we've coated the i3 to have more range and we took it on a huge 600 mile trip to the mountains and we're totally fine now. Yes, we are. Okay, very good. All right, time to finish up this in the Bolt. We are started up and we're in reverse. Well, I always say it, the out of spec road trips have rain and this is no exception. Thankfully, it's not much, just a slight drizzle um, and it's towards the end of the range test. So it should not skew our results by too much. But again, no range test is perfect. This is just what the Bolt will do in these conditions. Uh, we've traveled 186 miles so far. The car is predicting 37 miles to go and uh, seems right on par given the uh, speeds that we've been traveling. So no problem there. I'd be happy if it does over 200 miles and I think that should not be a problem. At 10%, we get this little icon that says charge vehicle soon. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. The way I found out was each one of these little squares on this screen is 5%. So I just added them up. So I guess that's the only way to see charge percentage. We have reached the halfway turnaround point. We are gonna be jumping back on the highway, going the other direction, same 70 miles per hour, of course. The rest will burn off when we get to the track. So we've used about 60 kilowatt hours, which means in the previous bolt, we would have run out by now. Now we're just gonna drive it till she dies to see total usable pack capacity. So far we're at 64 kilowatt hours. We says, I imagine we can get two more out of it. So let's find out. We must be at 2% state of charge because I had this setting come on low power mode when we get there. I don't really think that's gonna make a huge difference, but at least we know we're at 2%. And around, around we go. We have 65.1 uh, kilowatt hours used. So the changes definitely did add capacity, no question. Will we be able to get more than 66 kilowatt hours out of this pack? I am not sure. Um, we kind of have a plan if we run out midway around the track. The track is a two mile long circuit. We will grab another vehicle and tow this back and regen charge it along the way and see if that works. But hopefully we can run out at our charger in our bay similar to we did in the Mini Cooper SE range test. Now it feels like the car is completely losing power. 
So I'm gonna turn around and try and make it back to the charger. But I was thinking we might be able to get more than 66 kilowatt hours because we put some energy back in from slowing down. And uh, now, yeah, I felt the pedal kind of dip. So we're gonna head back towards the charger, <laughs> which is kind of maybe a mile away. We might need to push back to the charger. Wide open throttle is only doing eight kilowatts of power. We're just gonna take the momentum route and see if we can make it up. but I'm gonna try and make it as far as we can. So we're just gonna take this corner at a little bit of a high rate of speed. No one's around today anyway. And let's see if we can push it back to the studio. Wide open is three kilowatt. Oh, I think we can do it. Let's see, two kilowatt, wide open. My foot is floored. Okay, come on, Bolt. Oh, I have a good feeling. I think we might be able to make it back. Each one of these posts are charging ports. NEMA 1450s out of energy charge vehicle now. Yes, I see that we're floored at one kilowatt. Do you think we can make it to the charger? Yes. Yeah, I think so too. We're gonna take this corner with quite a pace. Oh, skidding tires. It's doing a half a kilowatt wide open. One kilowatt. <laughs> it's definitely dead, 65.9 kilowatt hour. All right, maybe my regen theory is wrong. This pack is actually 66 kilowatt hour usable. And oh yes, we have made it to the charger. 228.6 miles out of energy. Let's do just an acceleration test. I'm gonna back up here all the way to the grass. We'll see how well this thing accelerates when I put it in drive and floored. That's wide open. I'd say she's pretty much dead. <laughs> and ah, what was the final number? 228.7 miles traveled. Very nice. We, let's see, use pretty much nothing for climate that to be expected. I never ran the AC compressor, just the fan on fan one or off sometimes. And that really isn't that bad for 70 miles per hour. We had a headwind, which means we probably had a little bit of heat loss pushing through that wind. And uh, yep, the car shut itself off because now it says push brake to start. So let's see what happens if I try that. Yep, out of energy. So it did shut the high voltage system off right here with just about 66 kilowatt hour usable. Nice. I'd say that's a proper range test. And that's the end of our range test. The car is plugged in and charging. It will complete at like 4.30 in the morning, just on the level two. That is really great. So uh, significantly more usable energy out of the same size pack than the early bolts. So 60 kilowatt hours to 66. I still don't know if that chart is accumulating with regen or not. If you do know, let me know in the comments, because if it is calculating our regen going in, and then we use that energy, then the pack is less than 66 kilowatt hour usable. It's probably closer to 64 would be my guess. We had about two kilowatt hours of regen, maybe less. Um, yeah, probably less than two kilowatt hours. Anyway, thanks so much for watching out of spec. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go out and do the range test in this. So I'm just spending my life on the road. And then uh, you'll see a lot of videos with these two cars and plenty more to come. We'll see you soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.